unexpected noise I get performing it. <laughs> Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? If you're sure. I just... I had to ask. Sweet. Incoming! <laughs>
You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? You're right. I put the fate of our town in the hands of some feckless transient. This is my fault, and all Edgewater's pain for my mistake. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be.
I used to skip rocks in the river until Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed tailor farming. I bet she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I never got along with Mr. Thompson, but I don't think he deserved to die. He tried to do his best. I suppose that's fair. You were just acting in self-defense and all. I had my misgivings about Miss McDevitt and the deserters, but you took pity on them and sent power to their garden, even though you knew Mr. Thompson would hate you for it. All this time, you've been determined to get your regulator back, get your ship up and running, and cut a path out of this place. And well, I want it. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders.
What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Aha, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Good, great, excellent. Let's move on. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal.